guys, I'm going to be moving to Walt Disney World. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so crazy saying that out loud. Like... <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, my name is Morgan and today I have the most exciting announcement ever. Um, so I am in fact going to be moving to Walt Disney World to work for Disney in their cultural representative program. Um, and I thought I would announce it on this channel, tell you all a bit about the programme, what it is, what it's going to involve. Um, so yeah, so Disney's cultural representative programme is where I move over to Disney uh, to work in Epcot in the UK pavilion. So I will move on a Q1 visa. Um, and for those of you who don't know like what Epcot is and what it involves, basically there's different areas of the park but the one area is World Showcase and they have different pavilions from all over the globe, uh, one of which being the UK. And so what Disney do, they want to make it as authentic as possible so they have people from those areas of the world go and work for them. Um, so I've been very lucky in being accepted into the programme. So today is the 1st of September. I found out on the 14th of August. Um, so I'll tell you a bit about how I found out. So I was actually sat in the cinema watching the Barbie movie at the time. And uh, leading up to me finding out, there were a few other people from the same like um, set of applicants who'd already found out. They'd found out like the prior week. Um, so I think at the point I found out there was probably about 15 to 20 others who'd already been accepted. So we were all very like on edge, like will we get emails? Will there be more like acceptance emails go out? Um, so yeah, so on the Monday, I basically was like, right, I'm going to stay distracted all day. So I'd gone into town, was watching Barbie movie, and I literally came out, checked my emails, and there it was. Um, I don't know if you can see that, I don't want to show you my um, candidate number, but basically, just a massive, um, massive capital letters, it said, Disney International Programs, congratulations. So yeah, so I found out about two weeks ago now. Um, and ever since, I've just been on cloud nine. It still hasn't sunk in yet, it's very surreal. Um, so yeah, so I accepted that and when I accepted it, it had your official contract all written up with your start date. So my start date is gonna be the 22nd of April. And I have my official countdown on my lock screen. Um, so yeah, I'm currently on 234 days until I start. Which, that seems like a long time. But, that's going to go by so fast. And from me originally, ap originally applying to me finding out had been 218 days. Um, so that's only slightly longer. So yeah. So I originally applied in January, it was January 9th and then so when you apply you have to submit a cover letter basically explaining why you want to work for Disney, why you're suitable for Disney and like what you're able to sort of give to them. Um, because obviously it's a very popular program, there's so many hundreds of people all wanting to do it and you have to essentially sell yourself and be able to say like what you can give to them, like how you can show off your culture, where you come from. Um, so yeah, so I wrote up this big cover letter, submitted that along with my CV. Um, and one of the criteria for working for them as well 
um, is you have to have a strong background in either retail um, or food and beverage. So essentially when I move out to Epcot, um, the options for places you can work in the UK are the Rose and Crown pub, the Yorkshire fish and chip shop, or then there's the merchandise shop which is like tea room um, and sort of they sell typical British products. So I believe they sell Cadbury's chocolate in there. Um, so yeah, so you have to have a very strong background of either retail and merchandise or food and beverage. Um, and I actually do have a background working in both. So I used to work at Morrison's. I worked there for about two years part time and then one year full time. Um, and then the last two years I've been working in hospitality in hotels um, and I've worked in food and beverage. So yeah, I was very lucky in that I had both sides of it. Um, however, I was opting for food and beverage being my preference and that is what I've now got. So I've got food and beverage quick service. Um, so yeah, so you have to have all of that in your CV, being able to sell yourself why you're the perfect candidate for the job. So I submitted that on the 9th of January and then on the, I've put all the dates on my phone. Um, so then on the 15th of March, I then had a pre-screen interview in Epping. Um, and this is another thing. So with the pre-screen interviews, like you are told it's gonna to be on that day at that time, no exceptions. Like you can't ring them up and be like, I can't make that time, can we do whatever? Like you have to attend at that time. Um, so yeah, so on the 15th of March, I went up to, up to down to, down to Epping um, for that interview. I was literally nervous as anything. Um, we were told before to bring an item along with us that represents the place where we live, where we come from, um, and we had to speak about that in our interview. Um, I won't actually mention what I took in this video because I will make a future video um, explaining in depth all about the different interview stages of the process. Um, but that was on the 15th of March and then uh, after that it was then probably about I think it was about a week it was quite a quick turnaround from us having those interviews to them finding out we'd uh, progressed to the next stage so I think it was about a week later I then found out I was successful and I'd be having a final di a final interview with Disney um, which I was very excited about because the final interviews take place at the Disney headquarters in Hammersmith in London um, and that happened on the 21st of April so I went up to London the night before I actually met up with one of the girls who I'd already made friends with from the pre-screen interviews um, we went out for dinner was kind of like calming each other's nerves and things um, and then the morning of, there was a big group of us that all went to <laughs> Weatherspoons for breakfast and then we went to the headquarters for our interview. Um, so we all had to be there at 9am and then there's like a big group section um, and then you have your individual interviews afterwards. So we did that. And then here's where the waiting game came in. So we had that. Um, after our interview, I believe it was later that evening, we all had an email saying like, thank you for attending, we'll be in touch soon. Um, so we were like, okay, all was good. And then the waiting game came in. So we were waiting and waiting. And I think it was about eight weeks later, we then found out we'd all been waitlisted. So, so we all got an email that essentially says, you are currently being considered for one of the Disney International programs. Um, if you are still interested and want to continue in the process, please click the link um, and confirm 
that you're still interested. So we went on the link, it comes up with your name and your candidate number and then you just press yes or no. So obviously I pressed yes. So I'm on the wait list. And then what happens with that? Every 30 days, Disney send out, if you haven't heard anything else in that time frame, Disney will send out another waitlist email, exactly the same, and you just have to keep submitting, keep saying, yes, I'm still interested. So our first one we had was in June, I believe. Um, and then I had another one in July. And then I had another one in August. Uh, and then obviously a few days later, maybe a week later, um, I had my acceptance email. So that's like the time frame for you. So it has been a very, very long wait. Um, but now it's like I'm finally accepted. Everything's real. I can just calm and yeah. So I have a lot to sort out. Um, but yeah, April 22nd. 2024 that is my official start date um i've been very lucky in that one of my best friends from the program that i've made friends with like throughout the whole process um she's actually been given the exact same start date as me so we're gonna be flying out together and everything um we haven't planned any of that yet because we're waiting until close to the time Disney advised that you don't book like flights and things until you've got your visa um, So yeah, I'm just waiting for that But um, in the meantime, I'm just coming up with like bucket lists all this fun stuff. I want to do whilst I'm out there um, So yeah, it's just It's crazy to think it's actually happening. I think I originally found out about the program during like some point it was some point in covid i remember i was watching youtube videos and i actually came across um ellie and island's channel and she's done the program before and made a whole series on it um and it was at that point i was like wow that'd be amazing so i looked into it more and was just waiting and waiting and literally this is the first this was the first like cohort of applicants since after COVID. Um, so yeah, I've been very lucky in getting this because obviously they hadn't done the program for three years, possibly slightly longer. And so the cohort and the amount of applicants they had like was just such a large group. And I remember when I applied, I didn't even think I would get a, like to the pre-screen interview stage. And then for me to actually be sat here now telling all you guys about it, about my amazing offer, it's just like, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's all I've really got to say for now. I just wanted to hop on here and share my amazing news with you all. Um, if you have enjoyed, give this video a big thumbs up and I will, if you want to see more, want to know more about the program, drop questions in the comments down below, um, anything you want to sort of know about or anything you're interested in me sort of telling you guys about, um, because I might make a little series on this and sort of the whole process more in depth, um, because there is so much to tell you and I can't tell you about it all in one video um, but I know I'm probably going to get a lot of questions on it so <laughs> drop them down below and yeah stay tuned um, just think this time next year I'll be living out in Disney and for all of you guys who loved my Disney vlogs and the Disney content you're going to be had getting a right treat next year because <laughs> it's just going to be Disney content all the time. So stay tuned for all of that. Um, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>